look at them. Still ready to go. How do they do it? <laughs> you work harder than they do. Mm, thank you, Melinda. Yeah, nothing can save you now. Steady. <laughs> How about lunch? I'd love to, but I have an appointment at the hairdresser. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. <laughs> I'm saving you for a rainy day. That's the important point. You've got it, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Now put Carl on the line. Eh? Uh, Carl, good morning. Wait a minute, I have to get my work. How's your wife, by the way? Good, nice to hear. So jetzt hör mal zu, Carl. Ja, ich möchte, dass du diese Sache höchste Dringlichkeitsstufe gibst. Ja. Am liebsten wäre mir natürlich, du würdest es selbst übernehmen. Kannst du das? Na, das ist ja klar. So. Harry again. All right, put him on. What is it? No, I'm sorry, Harry. You just have to go to the bank. Except in bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm counting on you, Harry. Thank you for that. Coming home. She has nowhere else to go. Oh, Eric, why don't you want Robin to come back? I have the pleasure of having Robin again. Well, this is her home. And she'd be company for me. You would be back squabbling over each other's toys in no time. Robin's going to be in and out of marriage. 
for the rest of her life. Harry. Please. Moisty morning, cloudy was the weather. He began to compliment, and I began to grin. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do, do, you do again? <laughs> there was an old woman. Susan, are you eating your carrot? Yes, mother. No, she isn't. Oh, hello, Jerry. Oh, that was nice of her. All right, now go back and finish your supper. Hello, darling. I'm going to finish first. No, I'm going to finish first. Did you tell her? No, not, not yet. She just got it. I couldn't tell her not right away, could I? Mm hmm. Oh. Probably didn't thank you. I twisted her arm. No, I like it here. Please, ask me to stay, brother-in-law. Yes, I'd tell her. In the hospital, when she realized you were blind, you remember what she did? And you think she'd do it again? Yes. She might be better off dead. You hate her, don't you? I love her. His wife's related to the minister, they mean. No, oh, darling, no, you're being cynical. Is the toast all right? Never work. No, not yet. Oh, here's a picture of the Prime Minister. He's back from Washington. How does he look? A bit tired. And about three inches shorter. Alison, you need some up-to-date clothes. What do you think she did before you came? I'm sure she dressed to please you. Right. Morning. Paul. Good morning. It was late and he was in no condition to be driving. So I put him to bed in the study. Yes. Well, pull up a seat. Oh, uh, Betty, set another place. Eric, do give Paul some coffee, won't you? Oh, yes, of course. Sugar? Cream? Uh, no, thank you. No. Toast? We like our guests to be comfortable. Oh, Eric, please. Coffee. Just coffee, thank you. Now, come, come. That's not a man's breakfast. You need more than that after a hard night. Toast is ready, darling. Eric, 
please, eh? It's a bit early in the morning. So I'm sure you're not the one responsible. Can. I think I have to go. Good morning. I'm sorry. He's just not himself. No, he's right. Uh, he should have. Excuse me. Oh, dear. Eric insists I'm a bad influence on you. Well, you just have to get used to the idea that you're my baby sister. Won't he? I just wanted to check. Can you still make it for lunch? I believe so. Usual time. Right. But uh, get shaved. Now then. Shoes, hats. Listen, in advance. Only three months. Oh, it's far too expensive. I don't really Can I need help it, madam. No. Yes. I'm your bossy sister, and I insist. You win. Thank you. Charming hat. Did you get it here? Yes. But I'm afraid it's the only one. Yes, it looks lovely. Just need short and we can do that at home. Of course. Shall we have tea? Mm, that's a marvelous idea. Oh, I saw a belt with a good young suit. I bought it for you. Thank you. Now are we even? What about the doctors? You hear of these fantastic operations nowadays? Corneal transplants. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Troubles in the head. What do you mean? My brain won't accept the images that my eyes make. You mean you're not blind? Blind is a bad. But not so. Physical reason. You were hurt? The accident? There was an accident. I fell down the stairs and I hit my head, and after that I was blind. Pressure on the brain center from a small hemorrhage. Complicated by a postnatal reaction. In hysterical blindness after childbirth isn't impossible. It happens. Anything happens. You mean you could see? I wanted to. Aren't people marvelous? It's one of my children I've never seen. The color of her hair, her eyes. Only words to me, other people's words. Some more tea now. Why? I can tell you what the psychiatrist. I'm afraid to see. There's something I'm afraid to look at. That's what it's like. Have you any idea what you did?
Will you do me up, please? Nothing, Nothing. Nothing. Here now is the weather forecast. The general situation. Pressure will remain rather low over the southern and northern areas of the British Isles. During tomorrow, it is expected to remain mainly cloudy. For the rest of tonight, there will, however, be a tendency for the rain to clear. If this tendency continues, there may be a chance for a few hours of scattered sunshine tomorrow, especially in the late afternoon. <laughs> Incredible. Cloudy, rainy, but sunshine. Predominantly cloudy weather with a little rain in places will persist for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, no, no, no. Let me help you, huh? This is a job. You need a pair of large, clumsy hands. go to the country with me and the children. We're going a little early, I wish you. No, you do, darling. You need to stay in town and make her face. And how? By trying to seduce him. But if I did, it would only be to teach him a lesson. Robbie, would you close the door? Uh, I want to ask you something about my accident. When I 
was going to pack it, and he asked me what happened before, just, just before. I couldn't tell him. There's a hole in my memory. I thought perhaps you could help. Oh, well, I was in my room. I didn't know anything was happening until I heard you falling downstairs. Did I? I remember. You were crowned. I was asleep, and something woke me. What woke you? Suddenly, I knew the baby was going to be born. I started to wake Eric. He wasn't there. I had to find him. I got out, started down the hall, and then I was in time. And then? Next thing I remember, I was in the hospital. You were crying, weren't you? Yes. I... I didn't want to go to America and get married. And, and it was too late to back out. I shouldn't have let you go. You were crying. I remember giving me a headache. I've changed my mind about going to the country. I'll come with you. <laughs> oh, we'll have a summer like we used to. Yeah. Get a good rest. Yes. Still turning. Nothing's changed. There's a factory there now. Don't be take me, Robbie. Never changes. Musty. You know, she still gives me the creeps. Oh, no. Not afraid of astral vibrations, are you? Are they me and our child still there? 
Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Goodbye, you. Be afraid, Grandma. I'm not going to make any cross. I really think you feel so well. Do you think you can learn some such as you? Gemini. You can always tell a Gemini. Gemini. You can always tell a Gemini. I'm not thinking. Robin, I was sorry for. Robin. She grew up under your thumb. She waited on you. Anything of her you wanted, you took. Like what? Her teddy bear? He was jealous because we loved each other. Do you remember how you met Eric? Who introduced you to him? It was an adolescent crush. The first time he took you out dancing, she locked herself in her room and cried all night. She locked herself in her you room and cried all night. You didn't hear her. Did you? She locked herself in her room and cried all night. You didn't hear her. Did you? Did you? I heard. No, I just got here. Cheers. By the way, my holiday is about you. Yes, I was you said you might be coming down. Uh, it, it wasn't definite. I could battle down to Cornwall. Nonsense. They're expecting you. You're almost a member of the family. Brief discussion. D'accord. Your table is ready. Right.
those animals again. Oh, Granny. She's been married off to America and back again. Why go her age? They're not gigolos. They just don't have any money. She's typically Sagittarius. Don't you see Walter? Well, you stand up for each other. I have to say that. Hey, Robin, how about a bite to eat, huh? Solo, just you and us. I'm sorry, I can't. I promise I'll listen to my sister. We're going to go to the walk. Well, bring your sister as well. How old is she? Alison, you must be joking. She's not quite like you. She's, uh, she's kind of square. <laughs> well, we could round up a corner for her. <laughs> hey, look, I'll take you to lunch tomorrow. I promise, OK? Right. Lobster. OK. Ciao. Right. Ooh, what's up? Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> Any news from Alison? Two old fleeks. Susan's learned how to swim. Did she say anything about Robin? Mm, she's amusing herself, but uh, nothing she Never is. Maybe you ought to get tough. How? <laughs> Beat her. Use your hand, use your belt. She's had enough to make love to her. You and Robin. Mm. Long time ago. Are you in love? No. Robin. Seventeen. Be for me. And you were all I had. <laughs> oh, it's funny how differently we see things. I mean, to me, you were the one who had everything, everything. That's what people always said. Talent, beauty. And you? Oh, they admitted I was pretty, but you were ravishing. You never knew how your ravishing sister was ravished, did you? On your wedding night. What were you trying to do? Get even? Oh, it didn't work anyway. I made a date with a man I picked up on the beach. He was middle-aged and bored, and but he had a great sports car. I took him to our secret place. Sand in his shoes, poor man. 
I remember I, I cried a little bit. Not for what had happened, but because I wanted to come home and tell you all about it. But... And I, I couldn't. Tell them a thing or two. Mm. All the country knows what goes. Why won't you marry me? Because you don't love me. Do you know what it is to want? To really want someone? The want beating against your brain until nothing else exists. Self-respect. Shame. Other people's lives. Is that how you want Eric? He told you, didn't he? He warned you. Naturally. He's your friend. A guest, if it matters. And you still came, didn't you? Love is humiliating, isn't it? I learned that a long time ago. I worshipped him. Finally, he took pity on me. He gave me a crumb. Smoking again. Oh, I just felt like it tonight. That's why I want. What do you think about us, Alice? You and Robbie? I'm in love with her, but I'm afraid it's hopeless. He likes you, Blind. What did you say?
That's the only way you can hold him. Oh, if I could see... Oh! What's the matter? What happened? Oh, I get you something. Children are supposed to visit their cousins tomorrow. We'll drive off together and spend our anniversary alone. Can't be. It's Robin, isn't it? Hmm. It's over. I suppose I've always known. Sisters on that horse again.
I'm not going to be second best. Fellas? <laughs> Tell her. Tell her that you're leaving her. You're leaving everything. I'm leaving the children. For me. is for Alison. Four and fair. Afar is for Robin with long red hair. On the misty, moisty morning, cloudy was the weather. There I met an old man dressed all in leather. Yes. 
faites attention. Hein. Oui, 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 oui voilà. certainement. Voilà. Bye. 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 Happy anniversary. Anniversary? Why didn't anyone tell me? Because he's forgotten it. Haven't you, Eric? And shall we go in to learn? I... I have a little announcement to make first. Mind if I tell them, do you? Go ahead. I'm asking Paul to be my next husband. He says yes. I hope you'll be very happy. Happy anniversary, everyone. Going to kiss the bride.